Hello and welcome back to the series where I'm building in creative so that I don't suck at it anymore in survival. Last time we built this glorious little axolotl pond behind me and it's so cute and I'm so proud. This time we're going to be continuing this all the way down to here into a slightly bigger pond, maybe with a bridge over it for some fishing purposes. So let's just continue our little path down there and we will get on into it. Okie dokie, so I have successfully snaked this little path on down to where we want to build our next kind of pond. And what I was thinking is in the same sort of way as this, we've got this little, this little feature here. This pond could sort of tumble down out of holes in the landscape into a tiered sort of system. And we're going to use the same sort of palette from this pond for the other pond so we don't need to worry too much about palettes so i'm just going to go ahead and grab a bunch of these blocks that we have been using so i was thinking we could start a little little rock feature kind of right over here maybe again this is going to take a little bit of of finessing just to get the right looks going here but we could bring this around and dig this in a little bit and just have little pools spilling out of that top area, right? We're going to definitely want a little bit more in the way of the, the mossy cobblestone here. And then once we've got this kind of this tiered system, all we really want to do then is just pick a sort of fake point from up there and and pull some of the liquid out into this little pool that we have and let's let's redo that shall we hmm might want to workshop that one just a little bit maybe so a little a little tiered system of of rocks and we can we can even like scatter some of these rocks around a little bit from this one coming down from there and you know we can replace some of these with moss blocks to add to the look that we are going for here and again just make some of this into some some rockage and then i guess we just want to continue adding in some ferns as well as as we go maybe this is too much we you, we can make this smaller i think is the thing we we should make this smaller I think we just want to bring it in further over here. So let's get rid of that and that. Make that into gravel, that into gravel, that into gravel, that into gravel, and that into gravel. Okay, that's fine. I think that's fine. That that fits the look that we've been going for. Let's add in a tulip, maybe right there. Let's start digging out where we want our actual pond fishing spot down here to be. So let's just make a general sort of area that we might want to mess with a little bit if you will and again we kind of want a loose natural-esque but manageable shape we need to go bigger it has to feel much bigger than the top spot so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna dig this out okay shape wise this is good and i think it gives us a good platform to make potentially a little bridge off of so let's deepen it and let's bring some of those blocks from the top. All right, we've deepened her and I've got myself a bunch of the blocks from the top. So let's just go ahead and start adding in some of these blocks. Now I'm just gonna, as a placeholder, add in the moss blocks around the rim and then we will intersperse that with the, the lovely cobblestone and making kind of like, cause up here we've, we've almost got boulders. We've almost got rockery around it. Do you know what I mean? So we just wanna recreate a similar kind of vibe over here and see where that takes us. But let's just change all of these for just some blocks that we can use. Okay, so now we have filled in with the cobblestone, the gravel, the moss, we've made it look leveled and different. And I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks right now as a, as a kind of a basic level. Obviously what we want to do now is create some different levels on the outside. We wanna create some of the, the boulders that we've kind of made <laughs> accidentally over here. I really like them as sort of natural features that we've kind of added in. So I'm thinking we just kind of want to utilize some of the blocks 
in any given space. What we don't want to do is cut off this particular section, that particular section, or where the water is probably going to flow in from. So we're probably going to want to add a little boulder over here, maybe. Um, maybe like a little bit of that, a little bit of that, maybe. Maybe it goes up one higher even. And what we can go ahead and do is add, add things like this around it, right? So we still get to keep some of the natural look that we have, but we also get to make it look a lot rockier than it is. So one could come over here perhaps. And we've got a little boulder there and we can we can continue those good vibes along. We do want to raise certain aspects of this up a little bit. So we've got the, the different levels going on here. Already it's looking kind of better and we still have this through path here that we can build a little bridge on. I'm not sure how we're going to do the bridge, but we are going to do the bridge. Let's start feeling better about this already. Just like we did last time, let's add in some water to the space. Yep, already, unsurprisingly, feel 10 times better about this. Okay, next we're probably going to want to figure out how we can make this trickle down into this. What I've always kind of wanted to try is a little, little shoot. I don't know how well the shoot would work, but I know you can kind of waterlog these. So it would be very, very cool if we could almost make it look like it was trickling down that way. It's not quite running how I might want it to, but there's got to be a way that we can fix that. <laughs> oh no. This is not going how I wanted it to. Okay, right, 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 right. We can, we can fix this. This is so fixable. I have no idea how to do this. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I think we're gonna have to come up with a new idea. I don't hate the shoot. In fact, I quite like the shoot. If we had a little shoot vibe going over here, maybe. I think that would look, that would look quite nice. But we need to start it from here and make it look like it's coming from a pool as opposed to how it currently is. So let's, mm, yeah, let's, let's try this. Yes, exactly like that. And then we kind of want to add this here. Perfect. And we just break all of this. In fact, let's bring it along a little further. So it kind of trickles down unevenly. That's what we would like. And then we can have this kind of naturally become a waterfall if if it will look right i don't know how i feel about it i'm tentative but let's see about adding in a little bit of water flow right we've created a natural falls here we can waterlog these blocks and then it kind of naturally flows in like that <gasps> okay and we can finesse this this is so finessable in fact we can do that maybe we break this and we we make it look kind of smaller. It was kind of clunky before. Maybe this works a little bit better. But I quite like that it, it flows in like that. It's very sweet without adding the axolotls down here. Because if we do want to make this a fishing spot and have actual fish swimming in our little pond, what we don't want is our axolotl friends eating all our fish. What I might do right now is add some like moss carpeting around here, some extra pebbling as well, just to really bulk out the edge of the pond because it is looking, it's looking a little bit, it's looking a little drab right now, you know. We need to, we need to zhuzh. It is zhuzhing time, my friend. So let's get to that zhuzhing. Let's just add a few little rocks around the place, just to add a little extra in the way of like pebbles because there would be loads of pebbles around it. It would make sense for there to be pebbles around it, I think. The zhuzhing is looking better for sure. Let's get some of that moss carpet going. She's looking a little bit more zhuzhed right now. Do you know what we need? We need some grass. We need some ferns. We're gonna need some tulips. What I'd like to do is use it to build contrast almost behind the um some of the rocks right and then the smaller ones you bring to the front i feel let's add some extra grass in around as well gorgeous so far let's add in some of these tulips in some odd little places maybe this one there one there let's go ahead and add in some of the the in pond plants as well right so we're gonna want some of the seagrass we're gonna want some of the kelp okay so sea pickles in some nice places. Let's add some grass in wherever we can. Now we just want little bits of kelp. And then maybe we've got like a little lily pad 
left over there, little lily pad over here. Yeah, I think she's looking super cute so far. Look at, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Do we want some more bushes? Do we want bushes like we had in the other one? Ooh, do you know, we should have some bushes tumbling down, like along with this, like growing alongside the water. I feel like that makes perfect sense, babes. Just some bushes encompassing the area a little bit, yeah? And sometimes it's okay to have just one bush. There's no shame in that. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Now, if we're gonna make the bridge, we wanna continue the stone path vibes, I think, over here. And what we wanna do is bring in that dark oak that we're using for the lighting situation. So let's go ahead and grab some of this. And let's just grab a bunch of the dark oak stuff. And let's just start mapping out where this would probably want to go now we're going to want to create a little arch here i imagine do that there a second add that on and then would it be unfeasible to create a situation not unlike this right where we do this and then maybe we go up again like so i don't know how long this is gonna need to be so let's just start meeting it from the other side. I don't think that's a horrible bridge, you know? And if we decorate the outsides of that a little bit, maybe? So here's what I'm thinking. We wanna create almost like a little, a little archway. And we could put a little lantern up there. And then how high was that? Let's build that on the other side too. One, two, three, four. Let's make that on the other side. Should we make the bases of these logs? Like, should we do, should we do one of those? No, I, that's too bulky, isn't it? I don't quite like that. Is it me, babes? Or am I nailing this a little bit? I feel... <laughs> We're going to want to make a little gate kind of along the side of it, but I don't know that the dark oak trap doors are going to work particularly well. Ooh, let's not do that. Ah, that doesn't look right, does it? That does not look right. How do I make this little bridge work? Maybe we, maybe we stick to the brick, you know? Maybe I'm overthinking it with the wood. Maybe we, we work with some of the brick here and have the brick go along okay maybe we we go with some brickwork here right i think if we're gonna do that we're gonna need to raise this up a little bit maybe and what we can do is connect that along like so so that it connects to the fence post right and the fence post can be can be a part of it. And then I can get rid of that. Go across there and get rid of that. And maybe we just want to incorporate some regular brick walls in there. I'm gonna copy that the other side and then we'll have a look at what it looks like if we raise this up a little bit. Okay, I don't hate it, but something's missing. And I was thinking, what if for the middle block? What if for this middle block, I've seen other people, okay. I've seen other people make make lovely little like flowering bridges and that's that's definitely a vibe that I would love to also have. Ooh, I think it's looking kind of cute. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some of our lanterns over here and add those into the space. And honestly, I'm just thinking we want to like whack a couple of those maybe not there but like maybe there and there there and there and we can't hang one from there unfortunately but let's just have a look at how that looks with the lanterns hmm maybe not there maybe that's not where we want it to be what if we hang them actually yes let's let's hang a couple of them instead of adding them in just on the sides and I th oh i think that looks so much better and then again we can just have little little features of them maybe we have one um on one of the rocks over here and we could have one 
maybe right there too and then perhaps one could just be chilling down there as well so the area is lit up rather gorgeously if i do say so and you know what we can have just another fence moment right here i think just to add a little bit of light there too we may have really outdone ourselves i just want to edit the bridge a second can we edit it is that oh we can't do that what about gates would gates work here like so Oh. Oh, she's had a brain thought. Oh, she's had a brain thought, babes. Okay. And that brings in the wood a little bit. Oh, that looks so much better, doesn't it? That looks so much better. Yes. Okay. So that's... See, that's much more fishable, I think, for a little fishing spot. And if you absolutely have to, you can just open it up to yourself, can't you? Oh. <gasps> Oh, I love that. Do you know what the only thing missing is? We gotta add in some little, little fish friends. Salmon friend there. And a little salmon friend there. And then a third salmon friend over there. The last thing to do is kind of connect this along, if we can, to, to the area that we've got right now. So let's just grab little bits of that, little bits of that. It might be a little bit busy. Maybe I can reduce some of this a little bit. Maybe we don't need it to be quite so, quite so drippy. Hmm. And maybe we want to make this into, into something a little simpler maybe. Maybe we have some grass there instead. Yeah, I, th oh. I'm so proud of myself and it all ties in with the Hobbit home as well. It's like this is a complete feature, if you will. I really do think that this sort of shines at night time with the, the lanterns all aglow. But this kind of pool pond feature down into a little fishing spot down here, I am really quite proud of. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any comments or any ideas on how I might have improved this build, please do let me know. Remember to stay familiar, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!